The following is a fan-based customization. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT are all owned by Funimation, Toy Animation, Fuji TV, and Akira Toriyama. Dragon Ball Z Abridged is run by Takahata101, Lanny Pator, Kaiser Neko, and the other members of Team 4 Star. Please support their official releases. What's up guys, it's Oblivion Guy back again with another customization video. This time, I'm going to be attempting to make Ghost Nappa. Now, Ghost Nappa is from Team or Dragon Ball Z Abridged and Team 4 Star and whatever, and you can go check them out, they're awesome. And uh, it was it's fairly easy, but there's not much for me to work with. Like, we all know that Nappa's a big guy, and Ghost Nappa is equally as big as Nappa. You know, he's bald, hair 10. And I tried to get the typing similar to Nappa's, but the problem was I couldn't really do anything about the facial features, you know, because Nappa has that uh, mustache that kind of arches. But they don't really give you the option to do that here, which is, you know, it's, eh, you know, it's kind of disheartening. But at the same time, I, I can work with what I've got, you know, nothing's truly, nothing is truly out of my reach. So, uh, using, I took a few pictures. I had, um, I had to work my way around, and I really went in depth with this one, or at least I tried to. I had to take pictures of Nappa at different angles and see if the noses were available. And for the most part, most of the facial features were there, aside from the facial hair. But other than that, you know, it was a pretty simple customization. The problem I actually ran into was the drops, the drop rate, because this was recorded before the patch, and even after the patch, it's still pretty difficult to come across Nappa's armor. So. I chose voice 8 for obvious reasons, Talk out a great job on the fucking voice, like, for real. And the skin tone, skin tone, I went with, like, kind of grayish, not pure white, and also from watching the show, it was kind of grayish, like, it's not too dark, it's not too light, it's just the right in the middle, or at a nice, like that, at a nice angle, or a nice shade, rather. So, his hair is black <laughs> hair, kind of, and hair color, you can just leave that as ambiguous, I'm going to say. How can he go Super Saiyan? I have no idea. And Nappa is pretty balanced fighter, so yeah, we'll just run with that. Now, the clothing and whatnot, you know, it's obviously, we're, we'll get to it in a second. Right now, he has to go teleport to the Great Beyond. There he is. Now for the oh well uh, yeah there's uh there's Ghost Nappa. Now the clothing for the most part was half difficult because most of the stuff is battle suit Nappa, but it has a really low drop rate and stuff like that. The Scouter is blue; you can have access to the Z Soul is Z Soul can be whatever you you know you really want. Now as for the upper body, ah oh, dang it, Vegeta, you self-destruct. Yeah, let's just run with that. So now here are the moves. Uh, Sledgehammer is what Nappa has starting. Bomber DX is his signature move. I gave him maximum charge. And Meteor crashed from that patty cake part in that one episode. And the last two ultimate attacks are basically Giant Storm. Well, Nappa's signatures. And Explosive Wave because Nappa also has that as well. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that uh, quick walkthrough of a Ghost Nappa customization. That pose is kind of creeping me out. And, uh, yeah. Uh, see you later. Vegeta, look, I'm a fire in my-